this video I will show you how to use the compensating feet. You can see the size of the compensating foot on each side. For example, this is half of an inch and this one is a quarter of an inch. The guide is there to help you sew straight. If you are sewing on the right side, you will need the right compensating foot and if you are sewing on the left side, the left one. Before changing the presser foot, turn off the machine for your safety. Then change the presser foot as usual. Before you start sewing, turn the flywheel by hand to check that the needle is centered and does not touch the sides of the presser foot. I have a video on this topic but basically you should lower the presser foot and remove the rubber cap on the face plate. Then using a screwdriver loosen the screw, adjust the presser foot and tighten it again. Do not raise the presser foot while the screw is loose. Finally, place the rubber cap to close the screw opening. Now let's attach these two pieces together. Align the fabric with the side edge guide of the compensating foot and start sewing. My fabric pieces were not cut straight but you can see that the seam is perfect. You can also use the compensating feet to top stitch. If you are using the left compensating foot, you must fold the seam allowance to the right. Or you can rotate the fabric and start sewing from the other end so the top stitch can be on the same side. is looking amazing. Both seams are perfectly parallel to each other. One more thing before you go. Some compensating feet will leave scratches on the needle plate. But this is not something to worry about. I'm just sharing my observations. That is everything for today. See you soon.